Alright people, welcome back to my next video. Alright guys, so this is the update that everyone been waiting on that's using handheld companion on their device right now. But this update build 0.24.011. With this update, you definitely won't have to use Legion Space anymore or any of your launchers. In some cases, you still might have to use a launcher. When I say launcher, I mean like Steam, Epic Games, Xbox. But with this, you definitely do not have to use your Legion Space anymore, guys. All right, so let me get into it and I'll show you guys why. All right, so this is the GitHub page right here. It's been out for a little bit now. I think uh, last month came out last month, May 16. But I didn't really see what was going on. But now I'm here to let you guys know. So if you didn't know this update was out, now you you know so now get out there and update your software guys right so let me just show you the patch notes and i get into the software real quick they expanded the software to support a lot more devices like the msi claw one msi claw 7 ai msi msi claw 8 ai and one player x pro right but what i really want to show you right here is library manager so introduce the library as the first screen after launch letting you browse, sort, start all your games and application. This right here is the main thing. This is what most people have been waiting on, where they could play the games directly from Handheld Companion, tweak all your settings directly in Handheld Companion, and everything so you do not have to open Legion Space Guy. But that's the main thing in here. You could go down, you see a lot more stuff that they worked on and they fixed for different devices and stuff like that. But when you come out here, guys, come here and you hit the EXE right here and you could download it. I think you can also update directly in the software as well. If you come to settings in here, you could check for update and you could do it directly in here as well. All right. All right. So I'm not going to go over every, all the features that's in here because I have like two, three different videos already showing you guys all the features, how to use them and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you the main things and what's, what came with this update guys. So now, as I said before, once you launch it, it goes directly into library. This is it right here. So in your library, you can launch the game directly from here guys and once you click on the game it brings you to the profile for the game and you could edit each specific feature for that game itself right so like uh if you come down to graphics open this up you could do your gpu scaling rating super resolution add use your amd fluid motion frames directly with that software so that it doesn't conflict with other software and it's not a global setting so specifically for the game you're playing you can mess with the sharpness and everything like that right if you scroll down also put it in full screen when you boot up the game and some other stuff are in there so everything that i showed you guys already on my other videos is in here they just put it in the profile system for each game guys but the main thing right here is the library as i said before so you have your games in here and you could launch your games directly from here guys so once you click on the game you hit play and it will boot up the software so i'm just going to show you guys that it's actually working i'm not going to actually play the game just going to launch it and you guys can see what's going on yeah so open up the game i'm not logged in right now but you just log in and you open the game right up guys so how you when you first download it right it's the games right here is going to be blank so you have to add the games manually yourself they say that feature is not yet built into anna companion but it's not hard guys so first you go to profile and here this will be blank and you click up top right here and it will, should be on default like that right and that's how you add more games as well so when you come in here it might be in a different game so you just press this bar right here you put it on default then you hit the plus sign then you would go to this PC, you go to your C drive. So whatever game you're trying to put in your system, that's where you want to go, guys. But I'm doing some Steam games. So you would come in here and then you go to program files. I mean, all games will be in program files. So you come in here first and then you choose whatever launcher you're trying to get your game from. If it's from Epic, you go into Epic and everything, right? If it's from Ubisoft, you go to Ubisoft, Xbox, you go to Xbox. So since I'm doing Steam, I'm going to go to Steam. Then when you get to Steam, you go to Steam apps. Then you go to come on. And here, this is where you see your games, guys. Right? It's all your games. 
So once you get here, some games like Black Meat Wukong. So if you go to Black Meat Wukong, see you select the game. This is the EXE. Then you hit open. All right. So it says download the artwork and meta metadata. Right. So it's trying to download the artwork for the game, but for this game, it's not working. So no matter what I try, the artwork is not gonna come up. So it's gonna be like this. And the name is like that as well, but you could change the name. So if you go to this right here, you could change the name of it, right? So you could change the Black Meat Wukong. So I'm guessing for this game, I'm not sure why it's like this, but it's just, it's, this is the executable. Cause once you click it, it will launch the game. But for this game, it's not working properly for this game. And the artwork is not working as well. Cause when I go to library, this is how it looks. You could change the game name and then probably in future, on a future update, they'll fix this. But for some games, it's not actually working guys, right? So let's go back here, let's delete this. You come in here, then you press this negative sign and then you could delete this, delete the game off of Anna Companion. That's how you do it. All right, so let's delete at Helldivers 2 and then show you how it looks when it's downloaded met the metadata, right? Go back to default, hit the plus sign, this PC, C drive, profile files, x86. I'm down, you look for Steam. Then you go to Steam apps, come on. And then what we're we doing, uh, held out was two. Then I think in here it's in bin. And this is it right here, guys. So once you press this, the exe, open it up. See, it brings the artwork right up and it's downloading artwork and metadata. So it's downloading everything it needs from the Steam store to have it in the game. So you could play it directly and add in a companion, guys. And as I said before, you could tweak your game directly in here as well. So, so all your AMD software stuff is in here, guys. You don't have to open that as well. Because AMD for motion frames is here. You got integral scaling, image sharpening, frame limit, and everything in here. And remember, you also could track your FPS as well. It comes with everything you need, guys. You get me? So you don't have to open Legion Space anymore. As I said before, if you want to get an in-depth dive on all the features in here, the link for my other video should be in the comment section down below, guys. So get in there. Watch those videos, see what's going on. If you still have Legion Space and you want to disable it, you could do that. Because if you go in here, it's recommended that you disable Legion Space because some of the features will be conflicting with the, with Anna Companion. So here it says Legion Space Stack Service are still active. Legion Space Stack Service are already active on your console. This may cause compatible issues. So you could go in here and you could disable it directly from in here as well. Also, you could set Anhel Companion to open up automatically when you boot up your system. So you come into settings and you go to auto start and you turn it on. So whenever you start your system up, it will boot right into Anhel Companion, right into library guys. And you're up and running with all your games, all your features, everything you need to have a smooth gameplay guys. And that's basically it. You get me? So with all the features in here, as I said, Watch my other videos, it'll show you everything in here, what it does, how to set it up, and how to get you up and running, give you the best gaming experience on your system, guys. And that's basically it. If you like what I'm posting, guys, hit that like button. Sub to try for more awesome content, guys. And let me know what you think about Handheld Companion. If this is your software, if this is your favorite software, let me know if you don't like it. What's the reason why you don't like it? Let me know, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, guys. And remember to always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. Thanks for tuning in.